question 17 and 18 of the May-June 2014 exam. Both of these questions rely on the same scenario. So let's have a look at the scenario. The following table represents the number of children in a certain school's travelling distance each day to school. Assume that a linear relationship exists between the distance from school, which is x, and the number of children, y. So the moment you see linear relationship, you need to expect that the subsequent questions following the scenario will have to do with regression and correlation coefficient. So let's have a look at the table. Approximate distance from school, so we start with 3.5, 3, 2.75 kilometers, so we're going down. Number of children, 10, 5, 15, 12, 20, 18. So in general, as the distance from the school decreases, the number of children is in general, remember there might be a few outliers, but in general they're basically increasing. So think about this linear relationship. If one decreases while the other one increases, then it's a negative. If you're picturing that straight line, it would be sloping down. It's a negative relationship. So if we asked to calculate regression and correlation coefficient, you actually know already that it could only be the negative answers, and that's one way that you can check yourself. So here's our first question. Calculate the slope of the regression line. So we know that we're dealing with regression, and we want the slope. So our keyword is regression. Okay, now immediately we know, because as the one decreases, the other one increases, we're actually only dealing with the negative. So you're going to land up with option one or two, so you know that in advance. Now, for regression questions, the formula is really long and cumbersome, and it's not necessary to use it, so you need to use the statistics mode on your calculator. It really saves you lots and lots and lots of time, and you won't actually manage to finish the paper if you try and do um, regression using the formula. So let's have a look at how we use it this, um, using the statistics mode on our calculator. If you are using a sharp, to get into your statistics mode, you're going to go mode, then you're going to follow the prompts, 1, 1, second function, m clear, 0, 0. And then you're going to input your data. So if you're watching this video, um, at this point, you need to just pause it and have a look at your keys. All right, so here I've just listed that's your first set of data, second, third, all the way up to the 11th, the pairs. So the first one, you've got your 3.5. Click the X, Y button, 10 data. So that gives you your pair, that first one, which is 3.5 kilometers from the school. There are 10 children that travel that amount. And you're going to do that for each and every pair of data. Then remember, if you think of the formula for um, the regression line, the B stands for the gradient, because it's A plus BX. So the B stands for the gradient, so you just push alpha B equals, and there's your gradient. Negative 7, 0818. Go back. There we go, and there it is in its rounded form. Okay. Very important, do not clear your data, because following on will always be another statistics question. So if it's regression, you'll follow with correlation where you'll need that data. So don't clear it. We need it for the next question. Right, if you're using an HP, let's have a look at the keys, and you can definitely pause in a moment to check your, your keys that you need. Alright, so we're going to clear stat, and then it'll flash stat clear. This is how you input your data. You're going to put 3.5, input 10, summation plus sign. And you do that for each and every pair of data. Just make sure that you're pairing up the correct pairs. To get B, to get your regression line, you're going to, second function, push that button, Y hat M, because remember it's gradient, the M stands for gradient, and then swap, and you get to your value. Right, so that was looking at the slope of the regression line. Now we want to look at the correlation coefficient. Correlation coefficient. That too will be negative. Remember, it's not part of the equation for the line of regression. It just tells you what type and what strength of relationship you have. 
So it's not automatically going to be the same as B. It's actually not going to be the same as B at all. Just make you know that it's also going to be negative. So you can anticipate it'll be option 1 or option 2. Right, so you haven't cleared the data from your previous calculation, so it's just a simple press of the button. If you're using a sharp, you're just now going to look for your R, because that's your symbol for correlation coefficient. So you're just going to go alpha R equals, you get negative 0, 0,86. There you go, option 2. If you're using an HP, you're going to push 0, second function X hat R, second function swap, and there you've got it. So that's how you're going to do your statistic questions. Usually past papers just have a regression and a correlation coefficient question in them with regard to the statistics.